Hello guys, welcome to the demo where I will show you how you actually build a nice website using the core framework. It is incredibly easy and fast, you'll love it. For a real life example, let's create a website for a software product, the core framework itself. To start, let's click the Add New Page button on your right. Enter the page title, home, and URL. Click Save and you'll see the control panel for the page Home. Click Manage and then Change Page Layout to select the general layout from a number of templates. You can edit the width of columns by sliding the scroll bar up and down. Before you add the actual page content, you need to add content placeholders called widgets. The core framework offers multiple widget types. For now, we're adding a couple of web content widgets. We'll fill them in later on. Widgets are remarkably convenient, as you can drag and drop them whenever you please. You can edit widget settings, manage your style in the Look and Feel tab, add custom CSS, and manage permissions, too. To add and edit page content, go to the Core Framework Control Panel. Now we can add content needed for the page in a convenient WSUWiG editor in the Control Panel. First, add images. We have the logo here. Add a name for it. And click Save. Then, add another content page. Here, let's enter the HTML code of the main text body of the page. Save changes. And go back to the page makeup. To display the content we've just entered on the page makeup, click the Edit icon of a widget and select the corresponding content from the list. In our case, first we place the logo, then we add the major text block called It's Already Here. Similarly, we add other widgets and place them appropriately onto the page. Now we fill other widgets with content which we've uploaded before via the control panel. One by one, we add the banner, get a free quote, the text block about the Core Framework's recognition in the Stevie Awards, and the main text description of the product. Finally, we add a couple of social networking buttons in the copyright block at the very bottom of the page. You might need to add a news block to your page. Simply add the News Visualization widget. The headlines and text of news items are added in the control panel. First, create a new category in News Categories. Let's call it Main. Now we add the news item's content. Enter its title, news summary, and the body. Make sure to change its status from the default pending to published to display it immediately. Then we assign the news item to the appropriate category. Similarly, we add a few more news items. Drag and drop our news widget to a convenient place on the page. In widget settings, enter the desired width. Then go to common tab. Select the news category and the number of news items to be displayed on the page. Now we see the text. If you wish to change the font color, you can do it right here without going back to the control panel. Don't forget to set the font color for the text of the news items. Okay, we are done with the home page. Now let's add other pages of our website. Again, click Add New Page, enter the title and URL. It's widgets in our case. The other two pages we're going to add are Control Panel and Contact Us. Now let's return to the home page to change the settings and location of the website menu. We edit the CSS so that the website menu is displayed not below the logo, but to the right of it. By the way, at any point we can preview our website by clicking the View button here in the Core Framework header. Looks good so far. Now for a final touch, let's add a flash banner. To do so, 
Add a new web content widget. In the control panel, create a new content page. Call it Banner. In the WSUIG editor, click the flash icon and change the flash properties in the pop up window. In the Upload tab, select the path to the flash video stored locally on your computer. Set the custom size of the banner, click OK, and save. We're almost done. Edit the ladder web content widget so that it picks the flash banner we've just added. And that's it. The website is ready. You can launch it immediately and it'll look really nice and well structured with minimum effort. The Core Framework is an awesome tool for .NET web developers. Free, open source, and available at www.core-framework.com. Enjoy!